Hi guys, today's video is going to be really short. Uh, what we're going to do, um, it's, it's a short video that's going to take a long time to do because today we're going to be unsublimating and resublimating a tumbler because if you do any kind of sublimation tumblers, uh, you're going to mess them up eventually. Um, it, it just happens. You, you sometimes leave them in there too long, don't leave them in there enough, especially when you're, when you're first learning it and doing like an oven with shrink wrap and all that. With a tumbler press, I'm able to get a little more consistent results, but when I was using a tumbler oven, probably about 1 out of 10 would mess up. So we're going to show you a way to maybe reuse uh, those one out of ten and we're gonna you we're gonna do one that's notoriously difficult to do it's, it's got a it's got a really dark background but we're gonna try to uh, unsublimate and resublimate this and we're starting right now all right first things first we're gonna go ahead and uh, preheat our oven to about 300 and it looks like about 340 degrees or so and we're just going to put the tumbler in and then every 15 minutes we're just going to rotate it and flip it until we get it nice and evenly uh unsublimated so it's the, it's heated up to about three looks like about 340 so we're gonna go ahead and place this in and we'll go from there and we're gonna set us a timer 15 minutes and we're just gonna keep tabs on it all right we're gonna try to turn it and see we're gonna take it out for a minute and look at it and see uh we're going to see how what we got so far. So you can already tell a big difference in how much it's lighting it up. So we're going to flip it. Oh yeah, that one actually works pretty good. We're going to flip it and put it back in there for 15 more minutes. Alright guys, let's still go ahead and look at it. Uh, this is after two 15 minutes turning a little bit. We're going to look at it and see what we got. Wow. Look just how much lighter that is. Still got some spots where it needs to be uh, done, but all right, we're gonna put it back in there and rotate it. There we go, just like that, and we're gonna put it back in there. All right, guys, uh, let's see what it looks like after about 45 minutes. This is uh, after three runs of 15 minutes rotating. That's a All right, this is what we got. It's definitely unsubbing, but we do need to continue to put it in there for a little bit longer. So we're gonna put it back in there, and we're gonna put it in there for another uh, 15 minutes. There we go. All right, guys, uh, this is after one hour of baking in this oven. Let's see what we got. Outside of that red spot right there, like, that's really light. That's really light. Outside of that one little spot. We're going to put it back in there and see if we can put that side down. And try to get that one more time. We're going to go for another uh, another 15 minutes. And then we're going to try to sub. We're going to let it cool all the way. Clean it up and try to sub it. Hey Alexa, set me a timer for 15 minutes. Alright guys, we are right at an hour and 15 minutes into this process. Um, we're still holding pretty steady about 330, 340 degrees. We're going to take it out and look at it and see if we got rid of anything. Wow. Look just how much lighter that is. That red spot's significantly better, which we're going to just position that. And we still have that red spot that's there, but it's a little bit better. Um, I think we're going to run it one more time in there, um, and I think we're going to be good to go after that. Alright, cool. So yeah, we'll let it go another 15 minutes, and we're going to pull it out, let everything cool, clean it with an alcohol wipe, and then we're going to uh, put it in the tumbler press and try to press it and see how much we can get out of it. Alright guys, let's, uh, let's see what we have. Let's, uh, after an hour and 30 minutes in the oven... Uh, let's go ahead and turn the oven off because I think we got what we're after. That's actually really, really good. Like, there's a couple spots from the rubber where I've been touching with my gloves. But I think that gets us exactly what we need to actually resub this. Um, so let's, yeah, let's go ahead and set it aside. Uh, we're going to let everything cool down and then we're going to try it.
If you've seen this channel before, I have a bunch of videos about pressing tumblers already, so we'll save you some time by time lapse in this process. I mainly included this so you could see that I'm indeed using a faded tumbler and not a brand new tumbler. Alright guys, so what we're doing, we're preheating our uh, tumbler press to 355, so we almost got it there. It uh, it ticks away like something like 2 degrees a second, so it's almost done, so we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do, we're going to take butcher paper, wrap our tumbler in it, slide him on in there, make sure he's good, make sure we got good pressure, and we're going to go ahead and press him. And we're pressing it for 60 seconds. Then we're going to undo it, rotate it a little bit, and press it for 60 more. All right, guys. Coming up on 10 seconds left, what we're going to do, we're going to rotate it. Um, basically, without without touching it, we're just going to take the paper and just rotate it up a little bit. And that's really all we need to do. So we take it and just rotate a little bit. And boom. We're going to give it 60 more seconds, and then we'll be good to go. All right, coming in on 20 seconds. Let's uh, let's go ahead and glove up, and let's see what we got. Um, the question is, can, does this actually work? Can you resublimate it after you strip it with uh, with just heat? I don't know. I, this is the first time I've ever tried it, so I'm super excited to see because that actually gives us an option to uh, maybe reuse some of those tumblers. This is the only tumbler I'm doing today, so we're gonna go ahead and just do that. So we're gonna pull it on out. A lot of magic sublimation smoke. Now we're going to just strip it and see what we got. A little warm. Gotta set it down for a minute. I can't get the paper off fast enough. All right, so after we pull the uh, tape and paper off, this is what we have after resublimating the tumbler, which is really crazy. Just how well it actually takes and works. It, it may, I mean, yes, it looks a little pinker than I expect, but overall, that's really cool that you get anything decent out of that. Like the fact that it went from something, which we'll flash up right now where you can see the before and then after, which it's just really crazy that you can resublimate a tumbler and get such good results from it. All right, guys. So basically, uh, what we learned today is you can actually resublimate a tumbler, assuming two things: assuming that uh, the, the design is fairly light. If it's a solid black design, good luck getting it. Uh, that was probably the darkest messed up tumbler I had. I was going to just try a worst case scenario. Uh, it's still. I don't. Think, I won't have any confidence doing it with a fully black. Like if, if I try to resublimate this one exactly, I don't think I'd try it. But something that's fairly light, I feel pretty confident you can get most of the ink out. Especially if you go back over it with a darker design such as this. Um, so yeah, if, if you mess up your tumbler, don't panic because you can easily just reuse it. Apparently. Um, but yeah, this is what we turned out with. Um, once again, this is the before. We'll show you this. And this is the after. A nice, cool, horror-themed tumbler because, you know, Halloween reasons, I guess. But guys, uh, if, if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more submission content. Uh, I'm Jeff, Southpaw Studios. Peace.